Hello, everybody. It's Derek again, and this is another short tutorial on how to back up and save important data in your browser. And we're going to go back to Firefox. So let's share where we are. And you'll see here we have no bookmarks, we have no passwords. And you'll note here is this it'll allow you to export them to a, a CSV file. And the same is true for your um your bookmarks. And the way you do that is you go to control plus zero and it allows you to choose to export to the HTML. Now if we look here, you can see I've already exported the bookmarks and I've exported uh the shrink down version of my logins because I really don't want you to see all my logins for um, a thing that's going to be eventually on YouTube. So the first thing we do is we hit the draws zero. Where is it? Hmm. There we go. So we want to import. There we go, open that file up. And we're good to go. Look at that. Now, you'll know if we go to passwords, there's Another thing this is import from a CSV file, which is turned off in Firefox automatically. And the way we want to turn that on is we go to about dot config. And I have that saved as a bookmark. Now, you'll note it gives us a scary warning saying, hey, you might break your browser. And you can, but we're going to do a simple thing. We're going to take file import. And here's the setting. We turn that to true. We'll come out to there. Now when we go back to passwords and we choose, look at that import from a file. And there it is. We import it and we're done. Bang. My Firefox account are still apps test account and the pop-up password. So now do we go here? There it remembers and there it logs this in. Now you'll note through all of this that I'm not actually signed in to my Firefox account, I can get all this information through my profile. But if your profile is unavailable for some reason, then you can back up all of your info onto a, a USB stick. I have mine saved 
on an encrypted USB stick and a, and a couple of other places as well. I have um, saved on my uh, Google Drive as well. But the point is, you can go about the, the old-fashioned way with saving files to a safe place offline, or you can log into your Firefox account. Either way, the point is you are protected against a catastrophic data loss by doing this. And again, I will unshare here. And I'll, as always, end with an open invitation to, uh, if you need help, I will meet with you in Zoom and help you walk through getting your online life sorted and together. That's it for this tutorial. The next one that we'll talk about is setting up new passwords using the pop-up password, which is technically called HT password, and how to create pass phrases, which are super long, but very easy to remember. So with that, I'll say thank you and until next time.